Hey guys, this is the new Lovoid Smart Humidifier. So this one is the new generation. It's uh, called V-Sync Classic 300S Ultrasonic. And this one is actually smart. It can link to your phone. You can control with your phone just like Nest app. Alexa, turn on humidifier. Okay. With this one, you can set the humidity uh, level and so uh, also the mist. So if it's uh, low, medium and high, if you want medium and high, and also the night lights so i'm gonna show you uh when you turn it on it's gonna have a steam coming up it's uh depending on what you set the level of humidity it's gonna try to make it uh high medium or low the steam so if you put it on auto mode right here uh so it's gonna know that it needs to adjust the steam based on the level of uh humidity inside and as you can see here, there's a Wi-Fi, so it connects to your Wi-Fi. Uh, there's a night light right here. So it's this one turns off and on uh, the display, so uh, you don't see this at night, which is nice for babies and, uh, and so on. Uh, this is also, there's a night light right here. So if I turn, completely turn it off, it's gonna, you're gonna see the night light right here. This is pretty cool, and then this is brighter and then this turn it off and this one turn off the display and the night light so if you have night light on it's going to turn off everything still working on the back this is a great humidifier to have because uh, you can control it it's really easy to clean uh, and it has two year warranty right here and i'm going to show you it has smart control uh, aromatherapy 60 hour operation and top field design uh, I'm going to show you how to feel it from the top. It's pretty easy. And also there's a filter that you can replace uh, when it becomes dirty, the water. They recommend to fill with distilled water and uh, boiled water. Uh, bacteria from growing and you're going to also clean from the top. Uh, and right here, this is where you put essential oils. So you just press on here, it will come out. And you put it on here and not inside the, wa the water tank. So the great thing about this humidifier is that it has smart control. You can control it with Alexa or Google as well. So uh, you can set uh, routines and so on. When you say at night, uh, you can schedule when it should turn on, uh, if the light should be on, or uh, how much is the mist uh, should come on, and if display should be on and off. And you can control that with Google also, but you can also control that with the vsync app you can download the vsync app and connect your Lovoid to it scanning this right here so you can't scan this and schedule based on the day of the week and what time you want it uh, what humidity and you want it to turn off at what time which is pretty nice i'm gonna show you how to refill the water on the Lovoid humidifier so usually uh all humidifier you have to take off the tank and then you have to flip over and then uh, unscrew the base and put the water in and this one is actually different so it's easier you remove from the top and then you have whole access here you can clean you have uh, full full access to everything all around here so you can clean all around which is nice and this one is where the steam is coming from uh, so they recommend to have distilled water so put in here so we're gonna pour that just kind of nice you don't have to remove all the tank all right so we're gonna test like that you want to make sure you put the cover back on this side so this is aligning with this tube right here otherwise it's not gonna have steam coming out so don't put on this side like this otherwise it's not gonna come out and you will know because the steam will like go all over the place so and then you can uh, you can rotate this but if you feel uh, you want to refill from the top you just lift this tank up and you go and you can put water from here it will work the same like that cover back don't feel the bottom right here otherwise it will leak because uh, there's a mechanism where it takes the water from the tank and feed it through the machine, the humidifier. I'll show you how you can uh, control the Lovoid Smart Humidifier from your phone. So you need to download the VSync app. And if you have your phone on, you just point this camera, your camera, uh, your phone camera to the app's QR code right here. 
and tap on it for it to download so after that just hit open and uh, just allow and so you can sign up or you can log in i already have an account so after you log in it's going to ask you to allow bluetooth access and local network access for, for it to connect with the, the white humidifier and just go to settings just enable bluetooth and also allow it to find a connected device on your local network and since i already have this white connected i'm going to show you how to connect it i'm going to delete it and so i'm going to add a new device uh, okay and then i'm going to go to um, so it's going to search for device around you and it's going to find the little white around you because if you have your Bluetooth enabled, then uh, we'll be able to find the little white if it's turned on right here. And so we're going to tap on that. And so it says add device, press and hold the power button for five seconds until the Wi-Fi indicator starts blinking. So we're going to hold this power button for five seconds. One, two, three four five and you can see there's a blinking uh wi-fi right here and it says found device right here so it starts to connect by itself it says connecting to device right now so it's very straightforward and then uh, you just connect to your wi-fi in password it's gonna connect to your wi-fi and just assign it to uh, your room for example master bedroom or living room and we're gonna do master bedroom Gonna do next and device name you can say um you know, white okay and customize icon you know just leave it like that all set and go ahead and try it out uh, so we already found it so just ignore that and you can also connect to connect to alexa or google assistant and you can do that i'm gonna show you later uh, but first we're gonna do here Okay, turn it on. And once it's turned on, it's gonna show on here the humidity and there's a target humidity where you can set uh, on here. So right now it's on auto. You can also do manual by dragging the slider, just like the Nest app. Uh, so you can slide it and mist level is six. So if you want more humidity, uh, you slide to the max. The target humidity which is down below right here uh, you just slide this so this is the humidity you want if you want 70 percent and it's on auto mode it's gonna adjust the the mist on here by itself as you can see it's uh, a lot of mist right now and if you do manual you can adjust you know whether it's low so it's going to slow down like this, set to high, and you can see there's a lot more. Also have the display off, it's going to turn off the display, turn it on, just like that. Yeah, it's back on. And you can have the night light, so you can control from here, night light, and a little bit more brighter and off. Uh, you can have timer. So you can set how many minutes to run your fire for. So one hour, two hour. You can also have schedule, which is nice, this one. You can add one schedule right here on the top. And you can repeat once or weekly. So if you do once, it's only for today. And uh, it's on auto mode. And you can do advanced mode, display off, nightlight. On or off, depending on your preference. You can do weekly, you can assign, okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or someday you just want it to be on, that's it. Uh, this is nice. So you can have it start at, for example, 8 in the afternoon. Yeah, just say 8.05. And then we're going to do auto. And we're going to do every day. And hit OK. And... So it turns on at 8.05 every day. And if you want it off in the morning, for example, at 8 a.m., uh, then we do weekly, and do it again, and turn the device off. So it's gonna turn 
off. So it turns on at 8 p.m. every day and turns off at 8 a.m. in the morning. And uh, sleep, sleep will turn off everything. The display show you how to link the little white here. Uh, so you do with Google and Alexa, you tap on the gear icon on top. You do voice commands and you can connect to Alexa. And if you want to set with Google, you can do that as well. And this is all the command like here. Right, I'm going to show you how to connect to Alexa uh, so you can voice command the void, the humidifier with voice command. So just tap on connect to Alexa. So it's going to connect. Uh, connect your Vixen device to Alexa for hands-free control. Send your data to Alexa for quick search. So select the device or category to view available voice command. So can I select? So this is all the voice command for Alexa. And so go to Amazon Alexa, which is the app. And then uh, you want to go to the add new device. So which is the device tab on top, bottom right here. And so you can add the little white on there. Uh, just tap right here plus to add the new device. And we're going to add a new device purifier. That's the one right here. Just tap on that. And it's going to have the white on here. Just tap on that. And so install your the white purifier, add air purifier in the white app, connect pro air purifier to Alexa. So install your the white air purifier package. I'm gonna do next. Download the white app uh, and use the instruction provided to add the device. Return to Alexa and press next. Connect the white air purifier to Alexa. Press next to connect using the little white skill to find your air purifier and feature the white device automatically. So next, so enable to use VSync. That's the app that we use to control with the low void. So tap allow to authorize and I allow this. So it's successfully linked. So when you're on your Alexa app, when you go to device and if you don't see it, uh, it's actually listed on all device. Tap on that. And this is the low void new device that is already uh, connected to Alexa. Now you can be you can uh, use voice command to control the void now. So um, to make it easier for Alexa to recognize, I'm going to change the name to the name uh, to be easier for uh, doing voice command. I'm going to do humidifier and change to the humidifier the name. I hit return. And so Alexa will be able to, um, to know that you mean humidifier instead of the void. The void is harder to, to say, uh, so voice command might not work. Alexa, turn on humidifier. Okay. All right. So it turned on the humidifier. You can do more than that. You can turn it off. Alexa, turn off humidifier. Okay. Yeah, so just like that, it turned on and off, which is nice. So if like you're far away from the humidifier, you can turn it on and off. Alexa, set the humidifier mist to high. Okay. So it just set to high right here by itself. And now we have a lot of mist coming out. Alexa, set the mist to low. Okay. So set to low now, right? Alexa, set the humidifier to sleep mode. Okay. So sleep mode, it's gonna turn off everything when the light light is off. Alexa, set the humidifier to 60%. Okay. Yeah, so it just increased by itself. Alexa, set the humidifier to 80%. Okay. So it just boosts right here. So that's how you do voice command on here. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. This is a really great uh, humidifier. It, the mist comes out a lot. And if you want to have your room like have a lot of humidity, which is nice to have this. On the older model, uh, you can have also the option to have it warm up the steam is cold or warm 
so it's nicer but this one you can control with smart device alexa or google and also with your phone so this is nice same price as the older version but uh, you have the option of you know having this top up refill like this and look at the steam this is like on high right now all right please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys for watching